All right, hi again YouTube and welcome to uh, another Matthews modeling video. Um, right, okay, a bit of an unexpected video is this one. Um, but I come across a local um, that uh, just magically found its way in my possession. <laughs> um, one I've already got, but obviously it's a local that I've always thought has been ripe for um, a bit of modification, a bit of enhancement, a bit of a bit of everything, um, and that is of course the uh, the new-ish Harmby uh, Harmby bag mills. Uh, now, long-time subscribers know that I already have one of these. Um, it's one that I've already uh, done little bits of work on. Um, the one I already have, for people who don't know, I repainted the cabin yellow. Um, added wash stripes um, and then just some little detailing so vat pipes, lamps, driver slight weathering um, I weathered uh, the buffers and the cab end but I didn't weather the entire loco um, and just a little bit around the exhaust port <coughs> and ever since that you know I enjoyed it it massively enhanced you know a quite a simple loco um, I mean a lot of class this has been a very standard standard locomotive um, you know it's just it's in the Hornby 06 category you know um, but for a guy like me hey it's another shunter and it's another diesel shunter so that's good enough to me um, so yeah this is going to be the second donor um, now for this video I'm planning one video and it's just going to be one big fun quick project so this is going to be the introduction um, and then we're going to get on to taking it apart and uh, yeah we'll just attack it so we're going to have a paint job a bit of detailing and then probably some weathering at the end um, and I'm going to film the whole thing speed the whole thing up into just one quick uh, one quick project video so this is how it's looking now and uh, I shall get on to the stripping down so take one long look because it won't look like this for long right I will speak to you at the end I'm not going to talk you know in between this one and I like on the wagon project I kept stopping you know in each part this one we're not we're going for it so this is the start this is the introduction a standard red bagnell and I'll see you at the end with hopefully a very uh, a very different looking bagnell so Speak to you soon, let's go.
Okay, job done. There you have it. Um, <clears throat> I hope that video uh, went all right for you. Um, that's the first time I've ever really worked, you know, within a camera space like that. So I tried not to get in the way of camera. I tried to do things the right way around and not knock the camera and things. But um, hopefully you got the gist of, uh, of what it was I was trying to do. Um, so it was a quick... Uh, you know just a quick run through of the things i do when i'm i'm detailing a loco and remodeling a loco um so all this has had is a matte black respray um, a driver added inside to the glazing uh, a real lamp added on the back as we'd sprayed over the um the transfer lighting applied by hornby uh, added vat pipes reassembled it um, and then we rusted up the buffers and added some uh, spots of buffer grease um, I picked out the headlights with a silver sharpie pen um, added the name plates and then applied the transfers um, and hopefully um, you'll agree that it has you know, it's transformed quite a standard local by Hornby um, you know it is one of Hornby's typical 040 range locos but you know for a shunter fan it's still another shunter so plenty of scope there for me to do a bit of work to it um and yeah happy with how it's come out um i'm not going to class this as a finished project because i would like to come back and revisit it with some weathering um but i've not done this within this video for the simple reason if i want to give it um a bit of thought um i sometimes struggle with them weathering black locos um it just seems an easy option just to give it a dusting with a light color and things like that but i want to think about it um, and make sure i do it correct <clears throat> um you know i don't want to rush into it and have it looking you know too rubbish but needs doing you know because we've weathered the buffers so the rest of the loco needs needs doing as well really um but yeah, hope you agree that the idea of this video was just to show you um, how quick, easy and simple a project can be. Um, and to me, this is looking a bit more prototypical than it was before. Um, so what I'll do now is I'll whack, uh, whack some wagons on, something like that. We'll have a couple of shots of it running around, uh, you know, in both directions, I think. Just so we can see it in all its finished glory, so... Hope you uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Something a bit different from me, but yeah, just wanted to show how fun and simple a project can be. So thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see it going round. And I'll see you in the next video. Oh, which I should probably mention: um, if it's not the very next video, then it will be a video coming up. Um, I'm going to do a midway midway layout transformation gala. <laughs> um, it's been a while since we've had a running session um, and I did say that the next gala would be um, an opening gala when the layout was finished but you know I want to run some trains um, me and my best bud David we've been collaborating I line up with his locals and my locals so yeah we're gonna have a, a midway uh, a midway gala so I'll keep an eye out for that anyway no fumbling and uh, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching and bye bye.